So, hello everyone. Today I'm talking about this、um, series of comics. It's a、um, modern moral ironic comic, which means Hogai the artist or engraver is criticizing the things people do that. Aren't um that aren't actually nice, and well, these pictures are from a series of、uh, Hogarth's engraving, which is a kind of print. And engraving was the only kind of print technique back in his time, and which is. Also, the only way that, uh, that like people can get newspaper, like things like newspaper and um comics, like or books, because before engraving was invented, there wasn't any print techniques, which. If you want to get some books or a painting, then you need to copy it yourself. And of course, there was a、um, camera. So this is about the prostitution problem back in Hogarth's time, and the plates go like one, two, three, four, five, six. So, this is the first plate, and this girl on the left is called Mo Hagabel or Mary, and this other, uh, this other old lady beside her is the like is the um. Like, uh, is the well? Her name is Mother Needham, who is the brothel keeper, and she is examining Mall, and as if she thinks Mall would be a great prostitute. And in the background, you can see a big carriage with lots of other girls, and these girls in the carriage in the carriage are country girls who came from the country, and Mary, I mean Mal, is also one. Uh, let's look at the second plate. So, well, actually, Mal. Came to find a normal job, like maybe a maid or、um, a seamstress. But well, she was sold to the brothel, and now she is in this rich house because、uh, her boyfriend is this rich duchess, and. You, but you can see there are two people in the background slipping away from the from the door, which the man is、um, Mal's other lover, and the woman is Mother Needham. But after、um, the English Duchess found out about Mal's other lover. Um, she was abandoned from his house, and so now she she works in um well a、uh, well a a simple like a second class house, which is a lot plainer than the house from the last plate, and. This one is small, of course. In front of her, there are 
there is a small table with medicines, and there are also black dots on her face. So you can see that she actually, like the medicines are suggesting that the black dots aren't just makeups, but they're a disease. And, um, oh, and there is also some people in the back here who came in to, well, who came in to arrest her because she is a prostitute. And now she is in prison. This plate, she's in prison. So there are many other prisoners who are using a big hammer to to stack um like a bag and ma is doing the same of course ma is like the one in the front but her outfit is very unusual like it doesn't look like the others it's very fancy at least a lot fancier than the other prisoners and but after well, at, at least she got released after that. And after she was released, um, she died. So this is um, Mo in banners. And the maid beside her is trying to stop the two doctors, which is these two, these two doctors from arguing and the doctors are arguing about whose medicine is better but actually both of the doctors are not like real doctors they don't really have um they don't really pass tests or stuff like that to be a doctor and you can also see a little boy here who is playing by the fire and he is apparently Maul's son but we cannot find out by his expression that whether he would be evil or um like whether he would be evil or unlucky in the society when he grows up and in the last plate, um, people who worked in like the brothel with Mall came to, well, came to, um, well, these people are mourners who, well, who came to look at Mall's body. And they they placed um, things on Mo's coffin, but you can also see that actually people hasn't learned anything from Mo's death. If you look closely enough, you would see that there these two people are well. The woman on the left has the same faint smile as the one most got in the third plate and also that this duchess i mean you cannot see his other hand the hand other than this one and it's clearly under the um the young lady's skirt and it's it's how Hogarth criticized that people does not learn anything from the like they does not learn the lesson. So I really like Hogarth's style and so I made this. It's two different um like ironic comics and I cut out the characters in, in, in another 
series of Hogarth's comics and、uh, write the speak, speech bubble for them. So, this one is about water shortage problem. So, on, top, on the top, there's、uh, people praying for water, while at the bottom, there, there is a rich old lady. Who is commanding her maid to get more things that contains a lot of water? Well, that uses a lot of water. And this one is about that some young teachers cannot control the students, and the students just go crazy, and there are also a lot of noises, and they cannot concentrate. So, this represents the teacher. Who has a fan on top of his head, behind him, and on his shoulder. And the teacher commands the class to hand him many things, and, but the children are also very rude. Some, one of the children even tried to、uh, throw the things the teacher wanted. And, unlike, Beneath the classroom, there is a person、um, fixing the ceiling, which makes a lot of noise. Well,、um, that's it. Thank you for watching.